Hey friends, what's up? It's April. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my October TBR. So I am participating in one readathon this month and it is the, what is it? Weekend Ween, the Monster Mash edition. So it's taking place from Friday, October 28th through Monday, October 31st. So it's like a Halloween themed one, obviously. So we'll get into my TBR for that at the end. But I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I would really like to get to, so let's just get into those. So we have some books that are coming out in October that I would love to get to that I have pre-ordered. So first, we have Laura Olympus Volume 3. This is a graphic novel series that was adapted from a webtoon and it is so cute. It is a Hades, Hades and Persephone retelling and I absolutely love the art style. It's so colourful and gorgeous and even though I don't 100% know what's going on a lot of the time because I do not know enough about Greek mythology, I'm still really enjoying reading this series. So I have that pre-ordered. I'm gonna read that. Then, then, oh boy, Saga Volume 10 is finally coming out. After a long hiatus, they are finally coming back with a new volume of Saga. Thank God. So in preparation for that volume to come out, I am going to be rereading the first nine volumes uh, because I love to put myself through pain. I am absolutely obsessed with Saga. It is probably the best comic series I've ever read. I'm just so looking forward to diving back into this world. Then on the 13th, the Heartstopper yearbook is coming out by Alice Oseman. This is just a fun little book that goes along with the Heartstopper series, which I love and adore with my whole heart. So of course I'm just gonna pick up anything Alice Oseman puts out at this point. And then the last new release is It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, which is the long-awaited sequel to It Ends With Us. You can't even see this cover. I am literally so excited for this book. I can't even tell you, so I'm gonna read it and then I'll tell you. Then we have a couple of books uh, purely because I am I'm trash. Uh, listen, I have recently become absolutely obsessed with House of the Dragon, the TV show. I'm obsessed. Um, I have an unhealthy obsession with Daemon Targaryen. I will not apologize. <laughs> and for the girlies who know, you know. So obviously, I need to read Fire and Blood by George R.R. R. Martin. I have spoiled myself. I know how it ends. Um, but I, I just, I want to know everything. I want to know every last detail so I can simp over these characters even more than I already do. Okay, sorry, we're back. We had to have a quick battery change. I am just obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so that brings me to the next book, which is The World of A Song of Ice and Fire. I have the physical book on hold from my library so as soon as that gets in I'm going to read it with my eyeballs but I also have the audiobook brought out from my library so I'll also read it with my ear holes. <laughs> I'm just trash for them okay I just want every little scrap of information I can possibly get about these people. Next I have a book that actually comes out in January but I was approved for an e-arc of it and that is Lost in the Moment and Found by Seanan Maguire. I'm so excited. It is the eighth book in the Wayward Children series, uh, which is just a great little series. We're going to be introduced to a new world in this one, so I'm super excited to see what it's all about. Okay, next we have my buddy reads. I have three buddy reads that I'm doing with my best friend Kara from Bianca Reed. This month we were supposed to get through this book, The Many Lives of Stephen Leeds by Brandon Sanderson, but we have just both honestly been having an abysmal reading month this month, so this is being pushed back to October. Um, this is a collection of three novellas that um, follow a man called Stephen Leeds who has hallucinations, um, but there's something more going on. I don't really know. So we're going to be buddy reading that, and the next Brandon Sanderson book we're going to be reading after that is The Rhythmatist. Uh, I believe this is a middle grade fantasy book. I don't know, but I have the audiobook out from my library, so I'm going to be listening to it as well, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know anything about it. Couldn't tell you one thing. 
sorry. <laughs> then for my friend Paige's tarrying through time read along, Kara and I are buddy reading the next Terry Pratchett book in the Discord series, which is Moving Pictures. This is another one. I'm sorry, I have no idea what this specific Discord book is about. I'm sorry, I have no idea. I've just sort of been going into them not knowing much and it ends up being such an enjoyable ride. So yeah, this is the 10th book in the Discord series if you go chronologically in terms of publication order and that's what Kara and I are doing. So yeah, this looks like um, there's some underwater stuff happening, a night and film reel. I have no idea where this is gonna go. <laughs> and lastly, before we get into my weekend ween TBR, we have my book for the Buzz Wordathon for this month. So Buzz Wordathon is hosted by Books and Lala, where every month there is a buzzword and you have to pick a book with that word in the title. So for this month, um, the buzzword is a creature or an animal. So I'm going to be going with a book that I cannot believe I haven't read yet and that is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. This is told in verse and it has like a ton of like mixed media and illustrations in it. I've just heard it's absolutely phenomenal and this is actually gifted to me. So I can't believe I haven't read it yet, like literally can't believe. It's about a young boy coming to terms with his identity as a mixed race gay teen. Super excited to finally get to this. Okay, moving into my weekend ween TBR. I don't know how it's gonna go um, because I have a two year old. Um, she is at daycare on the Friday, but not obviously on the weekend. So at least we'll have the whole of Friday to read. And we're also taking her trick or treating for the first time around our complex. We live in a townhouse complex and like all the little kids get together in their little costumes and trick or treat. And she was a little bit too young to do it last year. So, I'm so excited. So, um, the first prompt is let a coin toss decide your first read. I forgot to get a coin for this. So we'll let Siri toss a coin. But my options are Death Note, the Black Edition Volume 5. This would be a reread for me. And Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, which is another reread for me. So the reason I'm picking these is because I am still trucking through my 2013 favourites TBR to find out whether those books are still my favourite books. I still have some books on that list so I'm hoping to knock them out. We will say Warm Bodies is Heads and Death Note is Tails. Siri, Heads or Tails? Tails. Ah! Okay, so we're going to be reading Death Note first and then challenge number two is read a book with a monster in it or monster on the cover. I mean... Death Note. <laughs> so we could use either volume because I'm obviously also planning on reading volume six. Um, either volume could count for that. I mean, so could Warm Bodies because this is about vampires. Challenge three is listen to a spooky audiobook or read a horror graphic novel slash manga. This is just going too well. And the last prompt is to read a book in the dark or at night. That might prove a little bit difficult um, considering Amelie, Amelie and I co-sleep. So I might just settle for like reading a little bit of a book in the dark or something. There's no way I can get through a whole book in the dark. So yeah, these three books are my TBR for Weekend Ween. And then we have the rest of my TBR, the ones that I can hold up. Oh my gosh. And these are just the ones that I own physical copies of. Anyways, I hope this month is better because reading has been not good lately folks so that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in a new one goodbye mm -hmm.